Good morning, folks. We've got a few key items to discuss today. We'll hit the planetary alignment I'm most looking forward to this year. We have big things happening at the world's scariest volcano. And of course, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We took a few small M-class solar flares. The coronal holes are setting their enhanced solar wind our way. The big plasma filament incoming on the south as well keeps turning towards the Earth. The solar flares were impulsive, not producing much in the way of CME activity, especially in Earth's direction. And while we have initially been more focused on the big southern trailing spots on the left side of this train, now near center disk, yesterday the flaring activity transitioned to the right, the bigger spots beginning to depart. We'll still have to monitor all of them today. Here in 131 angstroms, you can likely see how the larger flare flashing was focused on those departing spots on the right rather than the ones facing the Earth right now. As we watch Venus and Jupiter ready to conjoin to the right of the Sun on SOHO coronagraphs, a resonance alignment which is due in just a day or two, and after so many of you enjoyed the planetary geometry video we did last week, let me show you the day that I've marked on the calendar, September 8th, 2024. On that day, the Earth will come between the Sun and Saturn. This one also happened on the day my first child was born. It's Kira's birthday today, by the way. But on that same day, Venus, the Sun, and Mars begin their alignment. And while Mercury just missed being involved in that one, look what's just behind that one from the Sun's perspective, Jupiter. Three key alignments in one day. Again, it's all happening September 8th. Lastly, folks, I've given this list several times. The top three never change, which are my scariest volcanoes for the upcoming disaster cycle. And Campy Flegri has been number one on the list since the 2019 analysis. We've made several videos on it, set it in live stream shows several times as well. Hoping to do one of those tonight, actually. And when scientists noticed the crust was weakening at the supervolcano last summer, we said it was only a matter of time before the tremors began to warn the locals. This week, a swarm of more than 150 shakes rattled the region. The largest was their largest quake in 40 years, and it began damaging buildings and roads. People there were relatively freaked out. Heck, I would be too. Now, an actual eruption of the volcano is still likely a little ways off, but these shakes are happening due to the filling of the subterranean chamber, and it is only a matter of time. We greatly appreciate your support. Going to try to go live again this evening. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.